Hello everybody, this is James Detroit, and this is an attempt to do this, obviously, on the road. I am, for the first time, experiencing this mandatory mask wearing. We're on a little road trip, so to speak. I'll uh, pan over here, and if you can see behind us here, We've got uh, a couple of slingshots that we rented. It's great to be in America and hang out with your family and friends on the road. But we stopped by a casino, and I've got nothing against the, the people that own the casino. I've got nothing against the people that work here at the casino. But if you want to go into the casino, and many places, even this weekend, and then on Monday, it's supposed to be mandatory masks to be worn inside any building in Michigan or it's a $500 fine well out of respect and trying to hang out together I attempted to go in and utilize the mask it's a cheap mask it's uh, this one of those little white ones with the blue on the outside Actually, a restaurant gave us one yesterday if we wanted to walk in. And it doesn't work for me. So even though I see a couple of people inside the building with it below the nose, I'm walking through, starting to, I mean, quickly, not liking it. Feeling immediately starting to like overheat. So I pull it below my nose and of course, I walk by the first security guard who says, tries to tell me, he tells the people behind me, because I don't hear so good, that I need to put it up over my nose. And so I just, you know, walked down a little bit farther, was walking back by him, and they'd already checked my backpack when I went in. They know I'm not, you know, carrying anything that's, you know, illegal. And he says, you know, are you looking for something? Because he must have thought I had an attitude because I had it below my nose, even though, again, you look around. I come back out, the guard at the door, he's got it below his nose. I said, I'm, I'm looking for a table game and the exit. He said, well, table games don't start till 2, and you're headed towards the exit. I said, now I'm going to use it. So then, as I'm standing outside waiting for my friends and family, they decide to come out and kind of, what's this guy standing out in front of the door for? I must be a person of interest now. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe they just want to come out and uh, get some sunshine and fresh air themselves, even though the one guy kept his mask on the whole time. I'm not down with the mask. I see the mask as something that is all about control and about getting us to uh, submit to things. So. Um, I, I do feel bad for the people that work in these establishments that have to wear masks the entire time. And I try to be respectful of others. So I came outside and hopefully uh, you personally do not find too much difficulty with this starting on Monday. But I have a couple of questions. Who pays the $500 fine and who gets the misdemeanor? If it's an individual, I'm hoping that police departments everywhere will stand down on this. When I say slowly at first and then all of a sudden, here is an example. Well, they can't make you wear a mask though. Well, now they're gonna make you wear a mask or you're gonna pay a $500 fine, according to the way it reads. Is it that we're not getting enough because people aren't working, paying taxes? We're not getting enough revenue? Is that what it is? This is a money grab? Yeah, probably. Most things are. But it's also unconstitutional. It is my opinion that you cannot make me or you do this. I agree. The people that have called me, and I appreciate each and every one of you, I agree that we need to become more vocal and more united. So let's talk. Let's do that. I love America, the greatest country ever created. I love 
America. I have the American flag on a lot of my, on my clothing. I appreciate American-made clothes, American-made uh, machines, American-made objects. And then also our allies on the global scene, people that appreciate America. I appreciate their products. And I, I'm trying to eliminate in my wardrobe, in my purchasing, anything that's made from companies that do not appreciate America. I hope you're doing the same thing. I love America. I appreciate you for tuning in. If you're a subscriber, please share it with somebody. And if it's the first time you've viewed, I hope you subscribe. I'm James Detroit, and I'm out.